guys, and welcome back. Well, while the family of the late Love and Mary Huntsville star Kiki Duvar prepares to say goodbye, they reportedly don't want the cast, including her cousin, Letitia Scott, to attend her funeral. Now, in addition to fans laminating Kiki's shocking death, many shared hopes that she found peace with her family after their drama played out in front of cameras. Now, unfortunately, it seems like a tempster reconcile on the show, and even Kiki's tragic passing have not brought everyone back together. Now, according to Urban Bell magazine, an alleged relative spoke out against the LAMH star coming to the funeral, accusing them of doing everything possible to push her over the edge. Now, a man named Ellis Dawson, claiming to be Kiki's uncle, took the Facebook Live to address her fellow cast members. Now, the 42-year-old fell out and made up with several people throughout the series, but he directly called out her Aunt Wanda, cousin Letitia Scott, and Tisha's sorry-ass husband, say Scott. Mm. Dawson put them on blast for allegedly alienating Kiki and compromising her mental stability. Now, I'm saying it publicly so it can get to Wanda, it can get to her daughter, it can get to her sorry-ass son-in-law, it can get to all those people on that show. The way that y'all treated her in life, y'all got her down there to Texas and you alienated her. And my folks had to spend hours and hours and hours on the phone trying to reassure her to help build her confidence. Now, Dawson said this. Now, he references the couple's trip to Houston last year where Kiki unexpectedly arrived to make amends with Tisha and Marseille. Now, following an argument that escalated to throwing drinks and accusation, Nell Fletcher, Melody Rogers, and Stormy Steele all rooted for their reconciliation. Now, however, they conflicted cousins weren't on the same page yet, and Kiki left her about their unresolved issues. Now, Dawson claims he and their other family members had to help Kiki pick up the pieces after that major disappointment. Now, he describes supporting the wife and mother through months of struggling with her mental health. And my folks had to spend hours, hours, hours on the phone to reassure her, try to build her confidence. Our entire life for months has been circled around her mental stability. And you guys did everything possible to push her over the edge, he continues. Now, the message continued with doubling down on the cast, staying away so other loved ones could have peace at the funeral, which reportedly takes place on today, which is July the 8th. Now, he said, I'm sorry I'm asking you because we don't want any problems. We're peaceful people. We don't want no problems. We don't want issues. Do not attend any services for my niece. Keep her name out your mouth. Stop going to those bloggers, feeding them information about what's going on because you don't know what's going on. You have no clue because you're not inside the room. So you have no right whatsoever to put out any information about Kiki whatsoever, he added. Now Dawson went on to assert a conflicting theory about Kiki's cause of death. Now Boston a previously reported a friend alleged that Kiki caused a death with accidental carbon monoxide poison. Now, she claimed to share that information as an official statement from the reality star Mother. Now, a vlogger named Joanne Jenkins claimed to have a close friendship with Kiki and denied she would harm herself. Now, Kiki did not overdose. Kiki did not take her own life. Kiki loved life. Kiki was not ready to leave life. She wasn't ready to leave her children, her husband, or her family. You know, Jenkins defiantly declared. Now, in addition to the positive things her friends said were on the horizon for Kiki, she had other challenges bigger than that show. 
She openly discussed previous battles with drug addiction and other struggles more serious than reality TV drama. However, Dawson accused bloggers and uh, Love and Marriage of Huntsville insider of contributing to the tragedy. Now, he wanted Wanda, her sorry-ass son-in-law, her bullshit-ass daughter, to stay away from my family. Keep Kiki's name out of your mouth. Now, hopefully, despite their difficult history, Kiki Jabbar and her family can all find peace. Our condolences goes out to her loved ones. Yes, I'll be praying for that family, and I hope you will too. And I know that the funeral was today, and I hope everything turned out well. But this family is going to need prayers well beyond today. So, uh, my faithful listeners and my prayer warriors, Let's pray for this family. Yes, and continue to keep prayer upon them. All right, guys, that's it for me. What y'all think?